Welcome to a talk tech review of the Gizmon iPhone case. And here it is. Uh, the first thing we'll talk about is the things we like about it. Uh, it looks good. Uh, every time I used it, uh, people ask me what camera I was using. So if the reason you buy the case is to make people wonder what you're using and to make it look like a rangefinder camera, then this case does the trick. It has a nice uh, feeling on the side here and otherwise it is uh, made of plastic. It doesn't add any extra functionality to your camera except that if you use Gizmon also it makes uh, little lenses that you can snap on to your iPhone and uh, generally you have to stick uh, or glue a little piece of metal onto your phone so you can snap the magnetic pieces on but with this case you can just snap the lens on here so that's one little advantage with it. Uh, I'll take it apart so you can check how it uh, it gets put together. So there it is the phone and it just slides on. Uh, the fit is also good. It's uh, really tight on the phone so it feels like it does provide oops, it's backwards. Provides good protection for your phone. It adds a fair bit of width to the phone which is perhaps one negative point and when you're putting it together it comes with there's two side pieces and then uh, there's a little marker here and like an SLR you just match up the dots and Gizmon also has two different lenses which are nice if you're putting this in your pocket uh, it gets pretty thick with this larger lens so it's good to have this thinner one which creates a thin profile and it also snaps together really nice when you snap this piece on it pulls the two sides together and then you can put the lens on top of that and then there's this top piece that uh, snaps on at the end and they also include this tripod piece which just squishes on the bottom here and with the regular tripod plug in terms of the buttons you have access to uh, these two buttons here work like a camera shutter button which is nice it feels good to press them and they're the volume up and down buttons one thing we did notice if you like Instagram or any of the third-party camera apps these buttons work as still volume buttons they don't work as the shutter button if you use the iPhone app uh, then this button works like a shutter button uh, like it should so that's something you could obviously check if there's a camera app you like, if you can use your volume button as your shutter button, then this will obviously work. Uh, the other ports are all there. Headphones are available. On-off switch is extended through the case. And your ports on the bottom are available. One thing that isn't here, however, is the mute button. If you want to get to that, you have to take off this top piece and get your mute under here. And one other uh, thought the 30 pin connector connects correctly, but the headphone jack, the iPhone headphones fit in there. They have that nice small round connector, but if you have headphones like these, uh, ones from Sony, which have an end like this on them, if you try to put that in there, uh, it's this bit here is too big to squish in there, so you can't use headphones that don't have that thin uh, iPhone end on them. A couple other things I didn't like about the case is this top piece here where your uh, camera straps would go if you wanted to use it with a camera strap. Uh, it's They're just connected to this top little plastic bit so if this comes off then your phone falls away and it does snap on reasonably well but if you're to connect a lanyard you just one of these and it was the wrong one this one uh, if you run to the bus or something and it's around your neck it comes off extremely easily and if you had a camera strap I'll just put this on for simplicity and it's gonna stay on pretty good but if it got a little crooked and it was hanging around your neck like this it comes off pretty quick so if they're going to make a version 2, I think I would want this uh, fixed. 
a little bit. Perhaps, so these camera strap attachment points were connected to the whole part around the body of the case, so you're not going to lose your iPhone. Uh, otherwise, you'll, you can just stick it in your bag or your pocket if you have big pockets, but I wouldn't trust these little loops uh, to hold my camera. So overall, it's a good looking case, uh, a little plasticky feeling and a few little design quirks, but overall it does the job. It looks like a retro camera, and if you're looking for a case that looks original and looks good, then it'll do the trick.